What happened last night? Ah, uh, Mr. Rio almost died again. What a shock there. I know, what, right? What did he do this time? Bad luck. The oh, dice okay. gods. Same as usual. What's he playing? Uh, I don't know why, but he went as a ranger beast master. Except he didn't realize he can't have two. He took two cats. But the way Beastmaster works is you can have more than one animal companion. Yeah. Except you can have more than one animal companion out at the same time. Mm. So it's kind of like Pokemon. If that makes any sense. Well, it's like his character here in Monday. He's got like three minions. I mean, one's connected to him, but. Yeah. So, like, he has all these, like, and it's like, well, you have to switch between the two because you can't just, you know, half of them. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that's what I was surprised. Like, when I saw you made your character that you made one and you gave yourself two cats. I'm like, why would you give yourself two cats when, like, most people that play Beastmaster, they take different animals so that way they can constantly switch out and get the different benefits from different animals because each animal has their own little benefits. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, I didn't know. It's like, I know where it's like. Hmm. But... Yeah, well, the uh, race really <clears throat> did a number on the party last session. Oh, yeah, that race killed us. Mm -hmm. Well, I was hoping that Mr. Reese's character would, like, pick the locks, and, and I was to know that he didn't have... Uh, he wasn't able to get through the doors, but the, the he looked perception. Uh, he failed the first one, otherwise he would have seen the tunnel early on. Yeah. You know... So, decisions cause deaths at times. I find and it's not even like good decisions. It... Well, all the not only this campaign, but like other ones with this group, it's like bad decisions cost them lots of time. Yeah. Like mostly Mr. Ree and his bad decisions, but yeah, it's just... yeah that's fine. It's they keep splitting the group and, like, stop splitting the group. And then, like, Mr. Reed would be like, I'm going this way. I'm going to go this way all by myself. And it's like, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be going into the second campaign where you're going to be facing demons. So yeah. he he's going to have, because he's undead, he's sought after. Uh, Jim it has turned into a dread wraith, level 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. because uh, you guys didn't go after the boss that was uh, the shadow assassin, so he siphoned all yeah. of their souls and became stronger. He is now on the hunt. Um, you yeah. may or may not come across him again, uh, but if you somehow kill him, you will get a level. But he's very tough. Um, right. He's got the combination of the dread wraith and Jim, so you know he could summon stuff. Um, not killing the Wraith and leaving him was a bad thing. Oh, and, uh, if you guys would have killed those two assassins there, they wouldn't have released the Wraith in the first place. They only shot Tony, went yeah. down, and all of you booked it. You still could have killed them. It was just, you booked it out. They closed the door. Yeah, and, I and I only left at that one. I was like, well, I'm not going to stay by myself. Like, yeah, like, but die. because of that, they activated the Wraith, and then it was a TPK, pretty much. So, like, yeah. this is the kind of shit that pisses me off with this group, is, like, the bad decisions are just, you know... I, I gotta hand it to my Wednesday, my Tuesday group. They're amazing. They yeah. think, they act like their characters, they all that. I'm not saying a lot of them here don't, but it's just, like, like uh, I, you know, when you get that nucleus... And it works so well. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I really like. So. You say that, but we all know the truth. You did it all for the cookie. 
Okay. So there will be some time passed because you're going into the second half of this campaign. Does that mean I'm level 5,000? No, you're level zero. <laughs> you go backwards. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still have my two powered up little summon creatures and just my lich goes down the level then. So, yeah, I can deal with that. I'll send them out, get me a ton of EXP, level it fast. Yeah. Yeah, the second campaign is going to be interesting. Everyone dies. Um, Everybody always dies. How many times have you died this campaign, Mr. Ree? I don't know. I've already forgotten. I don't think you've died as much as the last one, though. Not yet, anyway. I think I've lost, what, only two this time? Yeah, I think so. I must be getting better, or the dice are, are forgiving me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Tony's the only original member left now. <laughs> And he changed his, his character a bit. Poor Jim. Yeah. Hello, hello. There we go. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. so, uh, yeah, Jim has a new seance now. <laughs> He's uh, living... Isn't Jim... Isn't Jim more? Isn't Jim just a part of the amalgamation, and he's probably just like the noise and annoying cousin of the amalgamation? Oh, uh, basically, Jim got talked into joining Mines with the Wraith. I'll say that much. <laughs> yeah, so That's now he's story. just the annoying. He's just the one who's constantly cracking jokes and probably irritating. Him. Yeah, irritating himself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, how did Jim get joined by the race? Considering Jim isn't undead, I'm not undead, but I've it's called like connection to undead. Oh, that could be it. Because the only person actually undead in the party is me. Yes, and you, ironically, you showed up after Jim died. What lost one necromancer to get another? Essentially, well, I'm not a necromancer. I, I'm a, a summoner. But yeah, I do need necromancy, just a different type. Base. I can craft solvent glue. <laughs> like oh, yeah. the biggest uh, difference between us is that uh, I get a variety of permanent ones, while you get a whole bunch of card up temporary ones. Uh, I mean, I can have like four permanent if I have enough money. But they're very not. They're very weak, though, compared to a, a normal minion and whatnot. Oh yeah, uh, Nexus. Did you get the whole question? Did you get the question about if a Everlife crystal could be blessed by a priest? No. It can't. Uh, I think I ran a cat now. Random gadgets. So okay, so you're a magus, so you basically use spells and attacks.
So Jeff's a kineticist. Um, all right. Somebody will have to control uh, Big Red's character until it gets here. Uh, not I. I just got my dinner, so I'll be eating for the first little bit. What'd you get? Uh, just to which way. Nothing. Uh, nothing exciting. You caught the chicken yourself. <laughs> yes. So yeah, Ryan, I, I um I uh updated some of the teams. Um yeah. Justice League, the Avengers, Fantastic Four, Age of Apocalypse, um the Legion of Doom. Nice. Yeah. Uh so Fantastic Four is now a control deck. Um, Justice League is pretty much like you would expect. Heavy hitters punch the shit out of everything. Uh, Batman's Batman's still utility. His cards really didn't change that much. Um, Avengers, Iron Man, I boosted him a little bit because now um, you can, if you have War Machine in your team on your team. They kind of bounce off of each other nicely, which is a good tandem. I kind of wanted that early on. Uh, I just fixed it up a little bit. Um, the Hulk is the Hulk. Uh, he's going to be your probably basically beat the crap out of everything. Um, uh, I also did the uh, Ray, uh, Black Lantern Corps. I redid them. So... Now they're working off of, uh, especially as long as Black Hand's alive, the ring countdowns happens, as in with the comics. So, okay. um, and what's horrible about them, and I like the comics, is if anyone dies, you get control of that character. So your team can grow, especially it'd be interesting in a six player free for all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've, I've worked on those, changed some of the wording and some of the cards on the ones I updated. <laughs> oh, I watched uh, Godzilla minus one. That was a good movie. Yeah, it was a very good movie. It was probably the best Godzilla movie I've seen in my lifetime, just because of a. They actually like wrote a story in there, like. With the humans and stuff, and the um, I really like the Godzilla moments because they were quite intense, and I do like the look of Godzilla. Like he, that's probably one of my favorite looks of him. Oh, the new one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, they, they, he actually looked like Godzilla. Like, and I like the fact that they made those scenes like intense. 
Like, it didn't feel like it was an adventure film like the other ones that came out. Like, when Godzilla appears, he'll fuck you up. Like, and I like the look of him. Like, he's uh, he's coming at you, you know? And that whole sequence on the in the water in that one part was insane. So, very good movie. I was surprised. I like that you said the cat. He's from the Santa Claus team. Yeah. He was a cat the whole time. Oh, he slept like a cat, got angry at anything that was causing problems. Oh, you're talking about uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, the last one, yeah. Yes, the one where Kong was literally like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, I that was one. that one. I'm supposed to watch it this week. Yeah, that one was all right. But Godzilla minus one was very good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. You know, a really good one uh, to watch is um, King Godzilla. That one's really good. It's Which Godzilla? Shin. It's Shin? Oh. No, Shin. Oh. Shin. Oh, um, it was just in Japanese. It was released, I think, like 2016, 2018, somewhere around there. Um, but it's Godzilla just kills everyone. Like, he literally just goes on a rampage and kills the town. He's about right. I liked in Godzilla Minus One, like how he, he the, they did like the Tokyo attack. I'm assuming this is like in the beginning stages of his story. And that whole sequence was amazing. I was just coasting their fuck shit up like CG combined with practical effects that looked really damn good. Yeah. And then how he shot the beam and then the, it caused like the huge explosion. Like that whole sequence, like wow, really good. Yeah, it felt like an actual, like, true Godzilla movie. Yeah, like it felt that's what I thought his beam was. Like, it makes basically a bomb. Um, you know, not yeah, like he it, does, all he does is absorb radiation and just expel it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you ever get the tense look up to Shingon, it's really well done. It's essentially just evil Godzilla. Eldridge. Not it's, Eldridge, per se. Like, it's, you know, it's all the original takeoff Godzilla, but Godzilla ends up being, like, the actual story of Godzilla. Godzilla is actually supposed to help mankind. Where this one, he does not care about mankind. He just destroys mankind. I didn't mind the the Kong Godzilla one. I did like how they finally showed Mothra. That was cool. Um, well, they had Mothra before. Mm-hmm. But uh, but they I finally still... said that there was a love interest that, and that is true. That is true canon lore. Mm. That Martha and Godzilla are in love with each other. Huh. I don't know how it works, but it works. I did how like how they pulled Godzilla into like the portal to get to help them fight the big ape in that yeah, movie. My favorite scene is Hong finally finds that there's other apes like him and finds a kid and then immediately start using the kid as a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was just laughing my head off. It's like so, kid hit you, you got mad at the kid, the other ones hit you, you got mad at them. Okay, kid is now essentially a weapon. <laughs> like, I was in the lob my head off during that scene. It's like, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I like, um, one thing I really liked about that film a lot is 
the scenes with the monsters, like there was like not really dialogue, but she knew what was going on because of the what they showed and uh, that all that sequence there. And I like when monster movies do that when they when they you don't really need dialogue. It's not like Godzilla and Kong are going to start talking or anything. They don't need to. But I like that what they do with that, like visually telling something's going on. Um, no, it, what's going to happen next is the fact that they're going to look at each other, and then all of a sudden the next scene's going to be them sitting at a giant table sipping tea and talking in British accents. <laughs> That's my dinosaur theory. I would like to believe, because no one knows what a dinosaur actually sounded like, I'd like to believe that they wore suits and top hats and spoke in perfect British accents, like high English accents. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I do. I except nothing else. I uh, I probably like the that last Godzilla car movie more than the one before it. Um, not that that one was bad or anything. It's just like the villains were stupid in that one. <laughs> Let's land a helicopter where everything is. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just felt the villains in that one. Uh, what was it? Where he first finds the axe and all that, like I just thought the human villains were awful. <laughs> they were typical we watched, um, one dimension. Another really good film too is the three part film, uh, Planet Godzilla. Uh. So it was people laughed because of like left Earth because of Godzilla. And then they come back like many, 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 many years later, but the entire planet is now Godzilla, and like just <laughs> subspecies of Godzilla. Oh. And like, there's a town, and the entire town's infected from Mecha Godzilla. Huh. Like, and it's like it's, it's it's a cool movie. I've never. It's actually... not based on any of the actual like original. Like lore and stuff, but it's just a mm. fun silly. Like this is what happens if Godzilla were to reproduce on Earth for like a hundred and some on years. I've watched the uh, what was it the two thousand and Matthew Broderick Godzilla. It was okay. Uh, I think the I didn't like the design of Godzilla in that one, but the action scenes were cool and some of the characters were interesting. Uh, the 2011 oh, Godzilla. The over there in the, it was the 1990s? I no, don't know. It was early 2000s. The New York one. Yeah. The one where it, it was a female and somehow laid egg. Somehow, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it just, and it made no sense that it came all the way to New York. Yeah. So I'm just going to go to New York and just lay eggs here now. Well, we had to have a city and to the destroy. Eggs just had, like, automatically, like, it's like the freaking thing's been there for two days. Like, how do is how does it lay eggs and hatch within that amount of time? Uh, twenty eleven Godzilla was meh. Um, yeah, I haven't seen too many Godzilla movies, and I have to say, out of all that, I actually really like Kong Skull Island. That's probably my favorite from all these. As far as adventure yeah. story wise, I really like that one. So, have you seen uh, Monarch yet? Heard of it. It's good in the sense that it kind of ties everything together. Mm. So, like, it shows, like, because, like, especially for, like, Godzilla versus Kong, like, it's just like, also, like, Monarch's a big company. Or, like, the show kind of shows how Monarch became that big company. Yeah, it takes place just after uh, the second Godzilla movie. Yeah. So. What was that um, one character called? The robot dude um, that fought Godzilla once. Mecha Godzilla? No, it was like a human-looking robot dude. 
I know if that was oh, like uh, canon. <laughs> there's a lot of Ultraman there's... or something. I don't know. Yeah. They had all these weird, weird yeah. characters. <laughs> I heard they wanted to make a Gamora movie. Yeah. Well, Gamora's part of Marvel. Yes. I don't care. Gamora. Like, I even Deadpool and Wolverine, I'm like, yeah, it'll be entertaining, but I'm just like marveled out. Like, I just have been disappointed too many times with their shit coming out. Like, yeah. I, yeah, haven't, I haven't, I haven't Marvel. even cared. Like people say, oh, Loki season two is better than the first one. I don't give a shit because I've, it's just disappointed me so many times. I really do not care <laughs> about Marvel anymore. And like, no, Gamora movie is not the Marvel movie. Gamora is. It was, Gamora came out around the same time as Godzilla. He's a big, gigantic turtle. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, he is the defender just... of Earth. And uh, it's really disappointing that they never did more Hulk movies because I would have liked more Hulk movies. They pretty much they like tried. they pushed Hulk to the side pretty much. Well, they had the first one that flopped, and then they brought the second one, and then because they brought the second one in, and they're like, people were upset that they didn't do an origin story again. I was happy they didn't do an origin story again. Yeah. But both flopped and I kept we're done. It was like everyone knows who the hawk is we're done. I didn't mind that one. I thought it was fine. Yeah, I thought both were fine. I like the fight with abomination. Yep. The only thing I would say with the first one, I just didn't like the cinematography of it. Mm. Like I didn't like the scenes where it's like let's have three panels of three different places on the same on one screen. And not explain any of it. <laughs> well, they were trying to do like comic style, but it didn't work. Yeah, it just, yeah, that's what's in it's that. Or I thought everything else was good before that. Yeah, and they're probably gonna reboot like fucking Iron Man and Captain America when they reach a certain point too, because it's Disney and it's like I don't. They already shit. said they're bringing back Robert Downey Jr. Who cares? And it's like, no, the only, died. the only good Marvel movies were like the early ones, Phase 1, 2, whatever, and then Infinity War, and that was it. And then after that, like, it just became a shit show for me. And I, I haven't cared since. I don't care about know, Marvel. I don't... Even, D, got... even DC, I'm like, I don't care, because it's like, you got Batman and Batman. Like, y'all see the super bit, new Superman movie, see James Gunn's take on it, of course, because I grew up with Superman, like, it's fine. If it's good, awesome. You know, but I, I, my hopes for superhero movies are like, I really am tired, burnt out of being disappointed, man. I find, uh, I've been watching a lot of the animated DC movies. Oh my God. I don't like the animated ones. Uh, I saw the concert scene ones, both of them were good. Um, uh, War World was really fun. I have to say, though, I uh, watched the latest Green Lantern one, but but X Men 97, I have to say, fucking good. Like, I was really surprised. They, yeah, yeah, no, they did a good job. I was, I was shocked on like how good it was, and minus some parts, but like overall, it's like, wow, they went for it. Like, there was no yeah. screwing around in this season. They went for some no. shit. <laughs> like, no. holy crap. The sad thing is, I have a film season two is going to be a crap show because they fired the main writer. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. They fired him after the second episode. Yeah, of course they did because it's good writing. You know, like. Well, no. So he was saying. Um, like if you look, look at the first two episodes and then from there on, so he was saying you had to keep the censors in from the original because that's what made the original. The original was all the censorship. Oh, so they cut that out. And then if you notice, like the first two seasons, it is censored, and then the rest are not. 
Hmm. Yeah, they don't care I... if you cut robots though, but they care if you show blood. Like, rig. No, I, and I, I'm fine with the degree to cut the censorship because, like, no, you had to show the deaths and stuff. Like, I go, uh, I was surprised what they did with Wolverine. Like, I thought they were going to save that for second season, but they went for it. Yeah. Well, he, I'm surprised he's still alive. like they showed him still alive. And it's like, I know he's he has no more metal. No, he's fucked. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's... Well, didn't he, know, uh, in the comics, didn't he get feral after that? And they kind of had to, like, tame him down or something, from what I remember. I don't know if they're going to do that arc. Well, I'm wondering, because, so, the scene, you know, they showed Magneto, um, so Charles went into Magneto's mind. Yeah. And they're fighting. So, in the comic, they, that's how Onslaught gets made. Yeah, that's what everybody's been anticipating. Ans- Onslaught. And I'm like, so is Onslaught coming? <laughs> if that happens, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> it's like, I wouldn't mind seeing Onslaught. <laughs> they haven't done it yet. They, I thought they were going to no. do it in the original. Because that is a pinnacle storyline, Dan. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, please tell me they're going to do an Onslaught thing. There's a lot of heroes die. <laughs> Yeah, like, I know what they're doing. Uh, well, just from what they tease at the end of season one, you can tell they're doing the apoc uh, the apocalypse storyline. Yeah, I always liked apocalypse. I thought he was cool. Yeah. It's, be, it's interesting and now Mesa, because because they got the two yeah. time time points, so they see well, if they if they're following the comics like they did, they're probably gonna do Blood of uh, Apocalypse, mm. which is a really good comic series. Yeah, Apocalypse, like, he, he he's an underrated villain. <laughs> yeah. I always like him. Apocalypse is better. <laughs> yeah. I find the um, the live action, though, they kind of did not do him justice. They kind of oh, that was awful. That was... Yeah. I, I, only, the only X-Men movies that were worth a damn were the first two for me. Yeah. X-Men and X-2. So. Yeah. First Dark class, class. Potter, it, makes, it makes me think of Dark Side from DC. Because he's Dark a pretty Side, underrated yeah. villain, I think, too. Uh-huh. Well, First Class was okay, but I didn't like Kevin Bacon as the villain. I thought that was weak. Yeah. Mm. Well, I gotta see how long I can go tonight because I'm just getting over a flu. Me and my wife have been sick, as you have a tell. So. Oh yeah, you came back from a vacation, which means now you have to be sick for a week or so. Yeah, that's that's the rule, right? <laughs> you go on a vacation. You go traveling anywhere, or you go to any like convention where there's a lot of people or something, and then you get sick. That's just how it works. Yeah, that's the rule. <laughs> All right. So I want to go die again tonight. Mm. Hopefully if that happens. We all just play skeletons or something. I don't know. <laughs> we should, oh, we should all and go and actually like control you all. zombie zombie dedication, and I'll be <laughs> everyone just my, uh, gem. <laughs> <laughs> just turn it into an evil campaign. We're all yeah. controlled by Jim. <laughs> We're all well, zombies. We're all controlled by Jim. <laughs> so um. Tony, with your connections there, you were able to, uh, you know, go into the sets of people into the dungeon to scout for it. Uh, new recruits you got, okay, uh, which I believe everybody introduced themselves last session. Um, so I think yeah. except for uh, Big Red's character, Hoff, I can't remember if he did or not. He might have. I don't remember. The group knows that uh, that my character's there, but my character never introduced herself. Yeah, she, you're she just could there. care less about them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's being paid. So That's all she cares about. The information there that you read there, uh the Wraith known as Jim is gone. Uh 
From the investigation, you found out that uh, the uh, Shadow Assassin leader was siphoned and all of his men by the Wraith creature. It was very obvious that happened when you went back to investigate. But there was no sign of Jim. We're just going to call him Jim. Wraith Jim. Uh, rumor has it that in the land, there is a wraith being spotted in different parts of the land that looks like it's just hunting, but no one's encountered it or anything like that. So, Tony, with your you and the guards and everything, you fortified the city in case something happens. So the city's pretty good, solid-wise, for in case that happens. Uh, so your city is kind of a safe spot for in terms of that. Whether or not you'll come across Wraith Jim again remains to be seen. So time has passed. The Shadow Assassin era is over, as there have been no reports of any around. Uh, you were guessing that uh, this Wraith has gone out to hunt them down and kill them, perhaps. Saves you time. Wraith does not like? No. No, because you have to remember it was encased. You know, they had it encased in a glass eye. <laughs> you, you know, you don't know so for how long. Did you money during your downtime? Uh, yeah, you, you, you can do some stuff during your downtime. Around. But uh, it's going uh, to a couple of months after uh, the Shadow Assassin stuff has ended. If you check your stash, the king has left you with some gold and a few items as he and Zahanna have gone their separate ways. You are no longer under his command as the king has decided to uh, pursue his own life, uh, basically giving up the kingdom. Uh, he has nothing to go back to. The castle is gone. And so... Basically, you're in charge of the city you're in right now, kind of uh, protectors of it. So you are kind of there to pursue your own pursuits for everybody. But you still act as kind of like the uh, the guardians, you know, of, of things bad, right? The, the king himself has abdicated? Yes. Yes. What the fuck's going on in the government right now? Nothing. There is no government. It's anarchy. The whole the whole nation has collapsed. <laughs> yeah. No. It's see, yeah, this is this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting at, Tony. You are now the government. Oh. With Tony's with your government. with your connections and your money, the king has bestowed you basically government of this land. So I'm the Lord Protector. You're the Lord. Uh, Shady wanted that, but fair, stern but fair. Okay, um, business uh, in fact has uh, gotten more and more growing more uh, in your tavern, and uh, you have made. Uh, could you give me six d hundred roll? And times that by a thousand. Oh, God. Mm. So you'll be quite a chunk of yeah, money. So I made, uh, I made, what, two, 271,000 gold. Yes. Your business okay. is booming. Yeah, it's a, basically you uh, have started to open up taverns all over the uh, the land where you can making deals, you know, and you have uh, since you're you know sometimes you're busy doing adventuring stuff. You have people that you know look, you have an accountant, you have a lawyer, you have a you know you have people that help you with this shit. So you're not always doing it by yourself. Um, you have a. Uh, you can have uh, a mage um, sort of advisor if you want. Uh, kind of like the king had, or you could just have your bodyguards. It's up to you. Uh, give me a sec. I just have to fucking write this down in my ledger. What the hell? Yeah. 
I am a ledger, by the way. I'm keeping track of all of this. Mm -hmm. So you are uh, basically the Lord of the Zen. Of course, you doing so, you will have enemies. I mean, that comes with the territory, as the king so bluntly put yeah, it before he left. Right. Yeah, it's common. Um, over the time, over the last couple of months, the group has actually dealt with some people that have tried to muscle in on this because the king is no longer around. They figured, oh, the land's free. Well, no, Tony took care of that. And you guys were basically the assassins of the groups they were trying to muscle in. They were either put in jail or killed. Any good corpses? Not from them, no. They're just... Uh, pity. No noteworthy. Him. Yeah, no. Nothing good. I'll let you know if you come across anything good. Um, so, what else? In that time, you have become very chummy with the, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the, uh, Ninja Leader, Krusk. He was around the time that you guys were looking for sort of a dungeon in his area and dealt with that. That was way back in the beginning of the campaign. So... You become friends, and you see him every so often. Oh, it comes now. So, yeah, so, All right, so we now. So basically, what you're saying is, we are now on friendly terms with a fucking ninja clan who can be our spy network. Yeah, you're basically with you in charge there. You keep an eye on all the rest of the tank clans, Goblin Clan, and all that stuff. They don't cause much trouble, or they never really have anyway. They just are territorial, but you don't really care about that. They haven't bothered you. I don't know. So, uh, let me see here. Uh, so there was just some so. odd jobs Crust would come up to you with just to keep the rest of you busy while Tony runs the tavern. Um, do -do -do -do. And and Krusk has a second commander which you met second in command uh, Akra A-K-R-A -A. they uh, basically are still training their ninja clan and stuff like that um, and you, they send out to other lands to do jobs and everything so, and really, you've got, like, an organization in this land of clans that work within it and work out of it, keeping their clans alive and thriving while you make all the money and all that shit. So, lots of... Lots of intrigue, for sure. Um, uh, so, about... Eight months pass, and Crust was going to come to you yeah. with a, another mission. He wanted to keep it down low, but he never showed up. So you're kind of wondering what's happened here. Um, and you kind of have been, all of you have kind of grown a strong relationship with him and, and uh, his clan. Uh, before we get all started, I have opened up the shop in case anyone wants to buy anything. So it is right there on the map for you. Let's see what they got. And, uh, you know, if... Uh... You need any extra money to purchase this these supplies? You're always you can always come to me for a personal loan. <laughs> Chip still owes you a lot of money, and he's still dead. <laughs> How many months has it been? I need to update his ledger. His, his uh, <laughs> so eight, eight. Uh, well, eight from the dungeon, and then determine how much the, from that from Chip's death. Probably a while. Yeah. Probably almost like a year. Yeah, probably. It's actually been so long since I updated this. I've I've forgotten how to do that uh, uh, over many months 
I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna multiply the interest rate by months. Yeah. Well, he has no next of kid in this world. I, I am planning to extract the value from his soul. Uh, his soul is all owed to someone else. There the will be a legal battle Cthulhu. for this. You're going to have, to have a legal you battle with like Cthulhu. Horror, a legal battle court with Cthulhu. I love it. It's a copy, <laughs> copyright infringement world <laughs> law breaking uh, contract. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll leave the shop open for a bit in case anyone wants to buy anything or sell stuff. You guys have a lot of shit in your stash that you never use, by the way. I looked at it. <laughs> that happens. That happens, like, a lot. You probably should sell crap you won't need. Yeah, sadly, shop doesn't have what I want. So. I bought some gems just for kicks and giggles. I, mean, I just bought some chips. like cool things. I found an I found an acid spitter. I saw that. Chips is a uh, Chips's debt is now up to four thousand five hundred twenty three point twelve gold. That's it. Uh, yeah, it's not been that long. Oh, so uh, maybe they said, it's time might be reincarnated yeah. in this portal. Probably not though. It's it's only it's only a seven point uh, two percent interest rate. You know. So big red, you want to know what's been happening? Sure, I've only been gone for so. Uh, Tony, explain what's gone on in eight months. Well, uh, the king abdicated, uh, and the government almost collapsed. However, being the fucking mafia and having an in with the and already having like severe connections within the government, I've basically just taken over, and I'm basically king in everything but name right now. Yep, the mafia okay. is in charge now. Yeah, we are just we are just the criminal dictators. Well, then. well, I do also, just the hear ninja, the uh, the Shadow Ninja Clan has gone extinct. Yeah, Shadow Assassins. Oh, yeah. Working for us. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. no, not the Shadow. The Shadow Ninjas are dead. But from that, there spawned the uh, Wraith Jim, who is still out there Jim, somewhere. Jim. Yeah. He's making it. I would like to imagine, like, it's basically an insane Rafe who randomly says you want a deal and then kills you. <laughs> well, Next. here's the funny thing if I get a few more levels, I'm pretty sure I could probably force the Rafe Jim into a contract to start to be bound to me. That is hilarious. Give me your knowledge, way you. That's like forbidden knowledge from a Rafe that has who knows how many souls. Oh, uh,. For Tony, I need you to go on a whisper for one detail of Krusk. Okay? Alright. I have a... Alright. So like I said, you and Krusk have become chubby. He's chubby with everybody in the whole group. Um, so he has come to you in the last month, well, two months, and he has uh, said that Acra has been acting off a little bit. Uh, so he he says that uh, she's been uh, uh, experimenting with uh, demonic lore, and he's trying to like stop this because you don't want to fuck with that stuff, right? Yeah, we don't we don't do demonic lore here. We do devil no. lore. Yeah, and uh, so the last thing that he left you off with you was a letter. Saying that uh, Acura has gone off on her own, and uh, he was going to come to you to help go and, and stop what she's doing. And the only thing that mentions anything in the letter is yeah, a possible uh, demonic uh, ruins that was discovered. So as far as the location, you are unsure right now. He was obviously going to come to you with that location, but has not shown up. And out of game, uh, with the second half, demons will be coming into play. Oh, no. So just a heads up for you. All right. You can go back to general. Alchemist Goblin, that's a bomber. 
Mm. But that occasion is juggler. So he just juggles bombs. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> right. Would that be fire based? <laughs> Would it be just a fire goblin? Essentially, he even uh, if he gets high enough, there is the thing goblin trait that you can just light yourself on fire and run around. I know that is hilarious. Yeah, you could just light yourself on fire for a duration. You even get fire spit. Mm -hmm. All right, so everybody done with the shop? Yep. Okay. Just crafting a bunch of stuff. The shop didn't really have much. Such a tease. Going there. around town telling everyone I'm a superhero. <laughs> I am just crafting, crafting, crafting. I don't believe in aliases or hide my identity. Foreign combat. See, I would be training during this time. Which I never understood with the original Power Rangers, because sooner they fought things without their suits on. It's because the suits uh, yeah, but everybody thought they were just marked for artists. Yes. Well, I mean, the one person was an actual martial artist in real life. So, Tony, are you going to uh, have a mage advisor or just use your, your bouncer thumbs? Where's Hannah? Where'd he go? Mm -hmm. He's gone. No, he went with the king. Oh, well yeah. then. Uh, hey, I guess we need some. We need someone uh, magical on, on call. I'm certain there's it's like a it's like a whole mages guild, right? Uh, well, there was uh, basically before the castle went down. I would like uh, to yeah, mention I am dead. a magus. I am an alchemical like, ma no. ma magus, and we yeah, also and have, have a, a, a summoner slash necromancer. <laughs> yeah. You and know what? Here's yeah. here's here's our stick. Uh, how about we add what's what's Mister Reese fucking's character's name? Uh, we had. We had Gillies yeah, over here. Gillies, it's spelled Gillies. Uh, yeah. Gillies over here. We'll have them start a uh, some sort of necromantic coven, and they'll be like our magic wing. And then we'll have like uh, we'll, we'll gather all the practitioners of the land and base um, them here. And make a giant Gilly. army of the undead. I mean, you know, why waste a free resource? Um. Tony, if you go, you'll see a NPCs folder. If you go in there, you'll see uh, something that belongs to you. There he is, Tony's mage. You can name him. I got to give him a name. What's his name? Yeah, you What's can a name good him. name for him? Bob. Jim Bob. Welcome to Jim Bob's Burgers. Hell, we're going down to Jim Bob car dealership, too. Oh, this guy's fucking stacked. stacked. He's got six level spells, damn. How about Chuck? He meant Chuck. 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 The Chuckmeister. Guido! Guido. Oh, Guido! Guido! That's a good mom name. Guido! Guido! Guido. I just Guido. made like a bunch of made like a bunch of alchemical items. <laughs> Guido Florentine. There you Man, go. if you attack any type of creature that is made of metal or air, I'll just type right. in them. So, uh, he's at your disposal, Guido. So, you take care of him now. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do with him. Well, he's there. I mean, so he's uh, he, you know, he can uh, watch the tavern yes, while you're gone. He can come with you. You know, basically, uh, you know, you made him your mage bitch. <laughs> I will have him. Uh, he will. He will be the head. Uh, the head wizard of the city, and he'll he'll reinforce like the walls and shit. Yeah, so it, upon that, like it'll. I'll also have him train the coven members. All right. For our ma for our mage corps for the military, you know, civil service. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you get attacked by like uh, I gods. Guess I will and shit. start gathering necromancers. <laughs> yeah, we need a cult. We need a cult. I I'm just crashing a sheer quantity of items. Hold of the tree comes in here. All right, so. <laughs> Um, 
it's nighttime, and uh, all of you are in the tavern there, and it's quiet. And Tony, you're standing there with Guido. You're just like, it was a good day. You made a lot of good fucking money over this last course of, uh, of fun. And uh, in walks one of your messengers. And uh, he kind of goes, lend your ear, boss. Yeah. Well, I think we found your uh, croc friend. Although we uh, yeah. we, we couldn't really get near him because he was surrounded by things we've never seen before. Seems that he's been held up uh, just outside of the city there. But I'm pinging it for you on the map. We didn't get close, unfortunately, because we didn't want to set off any alarms. It looked like he was being surrounded and in trouble. Perhaps on his way here. Well, uh, do you have any other uh, any other information? It's just outside the city, you say? Mm, well, we got in. And it looks like he was thrown by four... It looks like devil things with tails and spears. And then it looks like they had a boss type that looked like some kind of winged horn thing. So I mean, they maybe trapped him on his way here. I don't know. We didn't get too close to it because uh, we didn't have enforcements enough. We didn't want to deal with that. I see. Allow me to uh, quickly consult one of my advisors over here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Who's, is, is he? Uh, uh, Guido does not do know anything about religion. I ask Lich Alfred, since he's uh, trained in religion, if he can identify what these creatures might be just by the description. Guido would have have extensive knowledge if you did ask him. Oh well, I'll ask him anyway, just in case. Uh, you're asking Guido, okay? Uh, no, that's not high enough. Uh, I don't see. This must be something really powerful. Uh, if you could roll religion for Guido, he's not trained in religion. Uh, he should be. He's trained in uh, Arcana and nature, though, and survival. I could do. You could do. Uh, you could do Arcana with that. I'll allow Carter with that. All right, very good. So uh, the description is uh, he would have gotten both with that roll. Holy fuck. So these are demons. You're looking at the smaller ones as these and yeah, the. the and the boss with that. So the Invidak, uh, they can fly. Um, and they are tough customers. Uh, they have been known to possess people. Uh, Guido says be very cautious around that. Um, as far as the Babu, they're, they're kind of like, you know, the annoying goblin variety of demon. Uh, yeah, they're like assassin demons. They're yeah, yeah, kids. yeah, yeah. So that's what apparently is surrounding your friend Crux. Well, shit. I think we gotta we gotta go out. We gotta crack some skulls. Mm. Yeah, and Nexus. Uh, Nexus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I have 
smoke sticks slash smoke bombs. Could I could I put holy water in them since it to make them holy smoke bombs balls? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. All right. Does anyone want just holy smoke sticks? <laughs> I'll. Uh, I mean, I'll leave that to you. You're the bomber. I mean, they're more. They're self used. I don't. They're not throwables. Yeah, that wouldn't do me any good considering everything I have is undead, including uh, me. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do just spirit damage. So, but only can only damage creatures with the unholy trait. Uh, I don't think your thing has the unholy trait. It's just uh, it's just undead. So that actually probably no. Actually, fun. they do. Oh, it does. Yes. I have the unholy trait. Oh, That's well, nice then. my own character is unholy as well. Not oh. just my undead creatures. I'm unholy. All right, well, I'll take it. I'll take one at least. You know, never know. If yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have two on myself. All right, so you're off to find your friend. Yep. Okay. And uh, I think we'll leave Guido here because I think bringing her along a level twelve uh, NPC mate is going to totally destroy the balance. Oh yeah, I do have two. So he's not gonna have, come along. I do have two acid spitters, so we could probably actually set a trap. Because I have acid spitters and these are vapor. demons that we're dealing with. They're highly resistant uh, to acid. All right. Oh, so, um, I'm gonna take my assassin with me, which means my bird is going to be not available at this time. So, I won't be able to duel, have two of them out at that same time outside my Eladon until I get higher level. Oh, <laughs> the bird isn't a familiar? I thought it was a familiar. The, the Lich is a um, Eladon, and then I have two different companions. Now, oh, yeah, those, those are from your undead it. master. I, it's Wait, just, we, yeah. I'm just so used to everyone having the bird familiars that I just assume. Wait, Mystery, you do have the oh. feet that lets you have two undead companions out, right? No, you don't get that until later on. One is Eladon, the other one's a companion. I won't get any okay. more until... I so right now you have an Eladon and undead right companion. Now. Yeah. As soon as he pauses it, I'll oh, put, put the bird up for now. No. I can have the this bird as just a regular minion, but... Well, hang on. I need to change out some of my spells because this is not optimal fireball range. He won't. My birdie won't delete. So I'll just throw him in the corner. Yeah, you could just put him to the side. Yeah. Alright, so everybody set your character up where you want them. Um, and where, you, where you find him is a clearing, so it is Quite visible. It's very difficult to sneak around. There, picture like a a field, rocky field area. So there's you not thirty four. I nearly uh, had twenty right off the bat. <laughs> well, I got a thirty one. I mean, yeah, pretty good all around. So everybody, uh, everybody, right. everybody, roll initiative for the moment. And I'll set the scene. And those of us who are some of us able to roll stealth for initiatives if we did good on the stealth? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Nice. Oh, yeah, I have the thing. So, like, I'm able to just immediately draw out a bomb. That would be a very weird character. You know, they can't be stealth or something like that. I love that one roll on the initiative. Oh, right. God. Yeah, oh, it's these things. Yeah, I got a decent roll twice. I've never fighting these things before. Yeah. So, going okay. little Um, we come up on this area there and uh, cross. It's right here, and uh, looks like uh, he, these things got the drop on him, and uh, this demon over here is kind of like Mister Burn style. With his fingers smiling, um, he does notice all of you. Uh, the other four are concentrating on Krusk. So we are does going. That mean we get to, to attack right off the bat. 
Uh, no. Just because it's a clearing. They are not uh, interested in you at the moment. So. Uh, okay. Let's go into. So this one here kind of giggles and laughs, and uh, he is going to try and poke your friend here. It is a uh, long spear. She hits. Ooh. I don't know why he took that. I don't know why Foundry does that. Let me change that. And he took 19. I don't know. He's getting stabbed. Yep, he is. Um, huh? And then. Um, Okay. Uh, this thing will laugh. So he's going to try and attack again. With a specific strike, but he missed. So that will be his turn because it was a specific. Um, this one here, <coughs> Let's see, uh, these things have uh, reactions, just so you know. So he is going to try and attack, special attack, with his spear, which he hits. Right. And then uh, his last session, he's just going to laugh at... Uh, Stabbing Grunts. Uh, Gillis or Gil, your turn. All right. So, first, I'm going to act together and the Lich is going to take two actions while I'll take one. So, the Lich is going to start off with. And these things are living, as far as you know, right? Living, yeah, you they're said? Demons. They're demons. There we go. I need a fort save. This front one. Critical success. Wow, that little guy had that much, dear lord. Okay then, and Gillis is going to take, use her one action to command my assassin, my dead assassin, who's going to move up for one action and try to slash for another and miss with a twenty-two. How horrible! Which leaves two actions left. I see as soon as uh, your thing misses, you hear Jeff kind of pipe up. He's like, ah, oh, you call that a swing? I'll show you. Oh, that's everything, right? Your next turn. No, I still got one, one deal left I can do. Uh. I will, since they like sport, we're going to try doing 
reflex to uh, these two here. You you don't have the actions for that. You get, should have one action left. Yeah. Because you used uh, you you used void ward, which is a two action activity, and then I assume you used act together to command the uh, to command the undead, and so that you should have one action left. I thought yeah. I had. You got three yeah. actions. Yeah, knack together. I used two for the lich. Which is the same as commanding for one action, right? Yeah, your, your lich did a two action activity. Act together, you did a one action activity, which is command the undead. Now, your undead gains two actions, but you yourself still only have one action. Yeah, that's right. I had one more. No, nope, that's... you do not get four actions. No. I got three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Act together basically oh. generates an additional one action that can only be used to do one action activities, rather yeah. than just give you an extra action. Yeah. Guidance is a good well, one. I've done lots of guidance. Bernard gets guidance. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. I've got range for her to have quite a few cantrips that are supportive and try to cover all the fields for different... Um, Saving throws too. Yeah. Well, uh, so this guy here. They are. So the, this one you see so a, a sort of door like portal opens up and he appears basically there. Then his final action. Got to perform daily crafting. There you go. Uh, hits Tony. So, Tony, you just got a spear, a long spear in you. Ouch! Uh, Tony, it is your turn. Yeah. All right, uh, time to obliterate him. Let me just measure it real quick. That's not the action. <laughs> you just walk into him, push him over. <laughs> uh, I'm going. Uh, he kind of, kind of fucked with my plans there, so I'm going to. You can always fuck him back. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit him with a big old fire pair punch. I fucking miss a, a, a abysmal. I activate thermal nimbus. Yeah, and these guys, um, yeah, they their weakness is interesting. All right, cool. Okay, that'll that's my turn. Uh, all right, cool. boss man goes and. He's staring over at all of you and now has a sour face on him like he ruined his fun. And he... What he do? He surrenders. No. It's always worth a shot.
Uh, so he's about to talk towards you when uh, Cross Cure goes, Don't you fucking dare focus on me. And he's like staring right at him, but he gets his attention. So he basically like fires some insults towards him. So this boss man turns his attention back to. Rusk oh. he moves on in. He was going to focus on you guys, but then Crust is like, fuck you. And he moves. He flies over. So he is uh, there, if you see him. He's 30 feet. And He is going to throw some shit at us. Quite literally. And he missed. So flies there and chucks some some Projectiles that Crust and Crust is like does the combat hero roll and says screw you. <laughs> um, Huff, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna move right up here. And then one to attack. You should move uh, like here or here. here so that you can flank him and get your sneak attack. Then I will move there. Okay. You hit. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're targeting the Indivac. Was that your intention to hit that guy? Or were you going no. after? Okay. I'll just switch the damage over. It's fine. I'll put it on the uh I'll put it I'll put it on the little guy. So let me just fix that. There we go. Yeah, Foundry is doing that to me tonight too. It's like I target someone and then it's targeting itself or whatever. It's weird. Oh, nice. So he has to roll a fort save. Which I'll just do damage first. And I will roll his fort. There's his fort save, which passes. Mm -hmm. oh. Rogue man. And the whole time oh. I'm smiling at him. All right, cool. Uh, is that everything? That is it. Okay, yeah, you moved it three times. All right, I like Gooch cool. is a crazy, crazy small man. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, this guy up here. Baba Booey. He teleports there. And he's going well. It's better. I just saw a hawk catch a mouse. Yeah. No, out of my window, like you just carried it off. Nice. So he's gonna go there, and then he is going to do a special attack and such. So that's my his turn. Are freaking out. Yeah, uh, Bernard. <laughs> my chickens are freaking out about the fact the hawk just caught a mouse. <laughs> Sometimes right, you have to remind the chickens of their mortality. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, let me think. I have a plan. You know what? Yes. Stair strike. I'm actually going to use stair strike. I'm targeting the dude that's flying 30 feet in the air. I yeah. can do spell strikes without being in my stance, right? Not sure on that. Uh, what? What stance are you using? 
No, arcane are cascades. Oh yeah, you can do spell strikes without that. You you just uh, okay, you enter who? you can enter arcane cascade after casting a spell or a spell well, strike. My boomerang has like sixty feet on it, so I'm gonna be chucking a boomerang at this dude in the sky with sure strike on. So keep higher roll, nice. And along with that, I'm also I'm hitting him with exploding earth. So it's not a critical, but it does do uh, success. Okay. This this wasn't if no that's a fortitude that it, that's if I hit him with a crit I didn't get him from a crit. Oh, my mistake. Well, anyway. But he does take twenty damage, along with so he takes all of that. I think combined. I think yeah, like it would be combined, combined for the purposes of resistance. So it would be twenty four yeah, damage. 25. It would 25. actually it would be yeah twenty five twenty five. 25. I chant some, I basically do some arcane chanting, and I chuck the boomerang. The boomerang hits basically like a boulder. Alright, cool. That's my turn. I was trying to get a crit so I can knock him out of the sky. Okay, uh, so Crust here is not too happy. Why not? Uh, let's see what do this. So he has to roll. Fortitude. Uh. Yeah, just pat me, just well, you passed me. Fuck. That would have been funny. All right. Um, that was the last session. Since that didn't work. Hang on. Well, damage is damage. I would have liked that to work. That would have been awesome. All right, Jeff, your go. All right. I run forward as I said I would go hit this guy to show off, but the other guy missed. So that's one action. Second action, go channel some elements. As you hear the Power Rangers theme song coming in the background. <laughs> and then free action, weapon infusion. And uh, you basically see, like, uh, go make it have reach. If I can hit this thing. They're not flying, and... those guys. These guys are ground. Oh. Those guys no, no, are... But I'm, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting this guy, that's what I'm giving it. Oh, okay. All right. And it's going to be an axe made out of pure lightning. Ah. I'm fucking. Nice. All right. And then I have to add... I have to figure out how to add this extra damage. Which I have returned. Damage? Which extra damage is it that you're adding? Watch this. It just add, it will just be an, another plus four to this. Nice. So seventeen damage. Not bad. Not bad. So that's two actions. And then my last action. I armor up uh, as the Power Rangers theme song becomes even more amplified. <laughs> Gets your do 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 it. 
All right, so this guy's good to go. And move in here. And he is protecting his boss by attacking Fox here. Oh, uh, hits two. Hmm. Okay. And miss for that one. Uh, here, there, doesn't like being attacked by Jeff, so I did nothing to it. Uh, Only swung like an electric ass axe at it. Yeah. So you swung a donkey. Ooh. That'd be. Uh... Oh, he failed. <laughs> it's like it's like straight yeah, out of the Power Rangers. So. Yeah. yeah. He hurts his own armor, but he has. I don't think he's. Axe normal damage to your armor applying hurts. Yeah. Oh, well. oh, he just hits himself. Yeah. Or does this thing even does this thing have armor? No, not not really. No. Uh Gil. I want to just technically stab. Okay, so I'm gonna take two actions this time for me and one for my Aladon. Casting electric arc on these two on either side of the zombie assassin. Yeah. So reflex. Just a success. <laughs> and a crit success. So one of them doesn't get anything. The other one takes half. So. Okay. And my lick is going to move right here. And I'll use my last action to command my zombie ninja. Uh, dead ninja to the one that's flanking. So we'll take two strikes at it. Hit it once. Since he's flanking. Yeah. Miss it horribly the second one. That's my turn. Alright. Yeah, this one here. Going after Gil. Uh, ooh. Ow. All right. I missed with that. Oh, Get I got lit. Click. So. Click over. That guy hits you twice. One for critical. Oh, their weapon, their spear is unholy, right? If their spear is unholy, they're attacking an un immune guy, immune person. <laughs> they still do piercings, though. Yeah, I it wonder why it's not showing up. I just, oh, I it's being glitching. Piercing. Yeah, it's kind of both as unholy. You really should only take like you should be the taking piercing. twenty-two in the first one, and then you should be taking fifteen on the second one. So I took thirty-seven <laughs> damage. Oh, that's still a bit much. But wait, actually, don't summoners have like these amount? Yeah, summoners have these in HP. They have the, no. I see at zero. He, he's, he's dead. No, they don't. All right, All right Tony. Uh, is he unconscious? No. I just switched up for the oh, second okay. there. There you go. I'm I was wondering because it said it had like 102 <laughs> HP. 
<laughs> All right, Tony. Maybe that one. Is Gil no. already down? Oh, no, no, no. no, he's no. Doctor, thank goodness. I was, I was about to be very disappointed in you for another low constitution character. This one has lots of con. That's the whole thing. Yeah, which is good. It's a, it's a summer. You would hope it do it. I got I plus three on my con in deck. Anyway, these guys are good at. Uh, these guys are really good at deck saving throws, so I don't really want to view that against them. Uh, but I saw so hit them. Four. Yeah, I like to demoralize this one right here. Okay. My first action. <laughs> Oh, you would do exactly what I would do in my turn. Yeah. She's now frightened. Yeah. I'm going to uh, apply the thing. And now I'm going to punch him again. Fuck! Damn it! Okay. A turnover, I guess! Okay. Now awesome, for this man. Yeah. You got... Hit by a bunch of stuff, actually. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. On this guy's turn, he would have taken seven. Uh, it would have taken about, yeah, seven damage. I got it, right? I have. Yeah, because yeah. I have Thermal Nimbus up. Yeah, all right, seven. We'll just do that. Seven fired. Yeah. Man, every single time we come to this map, I feel like I'm on a baseball field. Get on battlefield. Uh, imagine you have a Pokemon battlefield. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> yeah, the, the Pokemon? Yeah. What is he doing? Uh, so Tony and Hoff reflex saves. Tony and Hoff. Okay. Um, uh, wait. You just avoided being hit by something. Hmm. Uh, so this beam basically comes from him all the way down. Uh, but you're fine. It is Hoff's turn. Turn. Do these have anything like any pouches on them? These battery things? No. Hit him. Uh, okay. Ow. Why is it hitting you? That's stupid. Regain your... Regain that. I don't know why it was hitting you for that damage. I added it to the bad guy. Just put your health. Yeah, just put your health. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's everything? Okay. No, I have to try one more. Yeah. All right. Uh, this guy here. So... So the lich and the undead guy need to make reflex saves. Twenty six for the lich and 
33 for right. her undead ninja. Yeah, that's just reactionary. They're both fine. Okay. So uh, these things have an aura. That happens on their turn. I mean, wouldn't I be in that aura? Because I'm like right next to it. Uh, double checking it. Yes. Yes, you would. Yeah, that's if yeah, it hits them, it would hit me. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wow, I rolled low again. Oh, well. Um, so, Jeff, you take 14 acid damage. Is, is Jeff doing the Power Ranger jump? Is... Yeah. Like the charge is the same one that jumps in. Oh, it's uh, the assassin. Yeah. Hit something again. Oh no. Oh my god, Gilly is clicked and it's acting up. So. so. Okay, so we got 24. We have 23 because it's undead plus 42. Yeah. And what we got piercing it's 20, damage. But if it's oh no, is it piercing? Yeah, no. Yeah, I for penalty. Five for penalty to speed. Yeah. So my poor undead ninjas dropped down to twenty five health one turn. Okay. From ninety. Bernard. <coughs> Bernard. Hmm. Well, uh, I like Throw a bomb at some one of these guys, or I could. F I'm going to just continue chucking boomerangs at this dude. Uh, guy. All right. Yeah. So first, I, I guess my first action is to recharge my spell strike, and then I'm just going to be throwing another boomerang at him. Ooh. Oh, look at that! It's a crit. Uh, okay. Let me just. Whatever the boomerang is, I think it's blood. Wait. Oh yeah, it's bludgeoning and. Uh, actually, uh, one on the damage roll. Actually, it would do I'm both. Gonna... It would do uh, the cracked rib and the stunned for the, at least okay. the uh, the spell damage. No, so this is going to be uh, 5d6. So it also does, I think, double that because this that's what I'm using as a spell strike. Yeah, also, do the stunned. Yeah. Um, and there's normal damage, yeah. but then you stunt two. Point of privilege. You can't oh. spell strike with uh, a second time without recharging it, either by using a. I did. I spent. Uh, I spent an it? action yeah. recharging it. Oh, an action I, I missed that bit. Ex ignore me. I'm dumb. How much damage combined, altogether? So What's the total damage? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. And with a ten persistent bleed, ten persistent yeah. bleed on top. Cool. Oh, nice. And yeah, so I hit him. Him. yeah, so I hit him. Yeah, I basically just, you know, arcane chat, chant, and it's an yeah. extra sharp, it's a boom, it, like, smacks him and, like, cuts, it, you know, does a whirlwind, let's cut. Yeah. So the poor guy basically has, like, no turn next turn. Because <laughs> I smacked him with a boomerang! Uh, yeah. so... Oops. So, Rust's turn. This poor fool got the speed and stunned. Yeah, Cross doesn't give a shit. He's torn after him. Yeah, they're getting yeah. Um, some of the birds are still freaking out about that hawk. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Big No, there's like twenty mouses. It's a bit of a problem. They they live. They hang out at the coops. Oh, maybe it was his friend. I don't know. That's just mm. free chicken feet. Uh, no, my chickens, most of my chickens have yet to figure that out, and the mouses are real sneaky about it. Paint the mice red. Well, to be fair, we have, I have basically purposely encouraged the mouses to go to a bird feeder that's out in the open, precisely so hawks can kill the mouses for me. Based. 
Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, it just another... fucked him <laughs> up. He Wait, got... so did, did I knock this thing out no, of the sky? He, no, I... Crux did. <laughs> yeah. He did a charge. Basically a charge. Wait, jump. did he? Yeah. Did he just do like a... Oh my god, just like one of those video game special move jumps. Yeah, it's a special <laughs> ability. Yeah, a special ability he has. He's a special ability he has where he just brought this thing down from the sky. Um, so oh, it's, it's he's prone. that kind it's of spider. Pro, it's, he's prone now. So basically, Crux like and jumped watch- in the air, put his sword right into him, brought him all the way down, and he has his sword like stuck into him while he's prone what on the ground. Damage from he would take an extra thirty damage of fall damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's toasted. Like Frank's Good. just fucked him up. That was <laughs> awesome. Boss man, boss man died to boomerangs in a fight yeah. or jumping at him. All right, cool. Uh Jeff. Um you go. Because it's free weapon infusion. Uh this time it's gonna look like a that the metal sword. And it hits, but instead of doing damage, I go do the free action of tut tut. So everyone within thirty feet of me is getting demoralized. How that work? Well, enemies at least. Oh, I failed. I go reroll that. I have a hero point. Wow, I rolled exactly number. Wow. Two. <laughs> oh. Either was a free action. Uh, second action. Uh, da, da. Wow, that was so, that was an uh, epic uh, takedown kill there. Yeah, yeah. It's good uh, because we need the body. For how our much do you like the guy? Oh, actually, no, never mind. I don't know how I can do a line. They're not. I need to move over one, but then it doesn't work. I was going to do a line to hit this guy, but he's dead. Oh. Uh, I'll just do another one action. Elemental Blast. This ends with some lightning. So, um, upon, like, uh, the death of the demon, basically, it disintegrates into nothing once Sprout kills it. Oh, yes, because demons. Elemental Blast. And then I'm just going to raise the shield. Which guy was that on? Okay. Okay. So he took 10. All right. There's a bolt of lightning, just like, you know, no one go. Yeah. Okay. The electric punch. All right. So this one comes in. And particularly like his boss going down, so actually rolled a four twice on that. He's going to roll. Wow. Good oh. job. So he falls he prone. The <laughs> he falls prone. Nice. Oh, is oh, he yeah. on? Oh, so, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's screwed because he moved, attacked, fell. He bites his tongue and falls down. Mm-hmm. Like the match, he tries to bite, and then the dude just parries with a sword and knocks him on his butt. Okay. Uh, right, so. This guy goes. Hits. Jeff for 12 with some biting. I'm going to block some of that. This with that. This with that. Okay. Kill. 
Okay. Hmm. I'm kind of on the line here because when I could heal up my zombie assassin, or two, I could I could just try to hit two two of the guys. You know what? I think I'm gonna heal the zombie assassin because unlike uh, my lich Alfred, if he dies, he's destroyed. All right. Okay, so he gets killed 37. It's funny that this guy has got full health, but he's prone. Yeah. Out of all of them. He's going to get saved. Uh, this, full that, that one there is full health as well. How can it be full health? I hit him once with the uh, assassin already. But the lich is going to smack him. Ooh. Ooh the lich crit smacks him. Yeah. This is bludgeoning damage. Oh, so he only takes terrible damage, but he's wounded two and feeble two, and they can't go away until he's no longer wounded. So he only takes seven damage. He gets two status effects. Yep, and wounded and feeble. Why only uh, 1d6? Do you not have uh, hand wraps? It's the Lich. He's an Eladon. That's just what he has for right now. Oh, so I get so another level. I mean, remember your Eidolon can, can take on like the runes of uh, your invested weapon. So yeah. if you had the hand wraps or like a, a normal weapon, it would to get those as well. Yeah, it would. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I mean, and I don't have any normal weapons. You've played a summoner before. I seen it. No, I haven't. Yeah, I you played, played one in Abomination Belts. Yeah, I don't oh. remember any of it. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Let's go <Yeah>. back. <laughs> I should oh, today. I shall use oh. negative damage attacks to heal myself. Yeah. I remember, I remember that. that. that was funny. Yeah, that was a while ago. Uh, all right, uh, Gil's done. My last action. Oh, okay. going... No, I got one more left. I'm going to order my assassin zombie to attack. The okay. same one. Okay. Since I'm flaking. There we go. Oh, we hit both times. Okay. Nice. You're applying it all to the wrong one. <laughs> like, you applied all the damage to the one on the right and attacking the one on the left. Oh, I'll just switch them. Uh, Whatever. They're, they're going to die either way. The guy, just... Basically, he's badly injured one. There, yeah. I'll, just, yeah, there I'll just switch them out like that. <laughs> That works for you. Alright. That gets the job then. Alright, so this guy goes down here. Oh changing his target. Because why not? Missed. Hit for twenty two and all of you around that guy have to roll a reflex save. Um. This guy? You need to roll a reflex save. Reflex save. You're also about to take 22 damage. I'll give the hand wrap to the Lich, that way I can change after battle. So... I want that, so that could be... 
Hoff takes 12 acid. Gil takes 12 acid. That's it. And then it's Tony's turn. All right, so round three. I'm I'm gonna hit him this time. Also, he's gonna take uh, seven damage. Remember. And uh, I take the I take the damage from the slime. Also, yeah. Uh, I think you will. You passed, so you're fine. Well, Hoff has evasive reflexes. So did he? No, did he fail the roll? Twenty four. He failed. Yeah. Oosh. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him with this fucking two-action attack at some point. Damn it! I'm here pointing this! Yeah, there, there we go! There you go. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, I rolled shit. Uh, he takes... He takes that plus seven. So it, it's something. Damage? I mean, luckily, these guys are weak, so they, they're still decent. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Uh, is that it? Uh, and then this guy up here, I'm gonna demoralize him. He is frightened now. It's funny, demons get frightened. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay, Hoss. Okay, I'm gonna. Attack on the third time again. Oh! Kidding me. A hero point. Yeah, how many hero points out? There you go. Well, it wasn't a critical fumble. It's not a critical fumble. No. There you go. Nice. And, uh, one more. No. I just realized I forgot to activate my uh, gate attenuator. It was in my inventory, but never toggle. Oh, now it's on. Let's do here. Reflex save for the zombie and Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jeff does not make it. Minerals. I am acid. And third after zombie there. It hits. And this is so that's done. Only hit your zombie once. Right. Uh, how do you feel about splash dam? Do what you got to do and blow up the world. Right. First action, recharging spell strike. Second action, I'm throwing a bottle of lightning at this dude. I hate him. Oh, that one there. Yeah. Yep, everyone takes two splash damage, and he takes... Hang on, I'm also doing another thing, but just calculate this damage because the next thing I'm doing involves a reflex. So, yep. And he's also off guard till the start of my next turn. Yeah. Everyone um, takes two splash damage and he uh 14 damage along with the two splash. Yeah. All right. Right. And now for my next thing, let me check the range on something. Electric arc basics. All right. Sweet. Uh, 
one, two, or two, one to two creatures. Boop, boop. And now for my next action. Elec electric arc on these two. Oh yeah, he is off guard. He's off guard until starting next turn. And uh yeah. And just like uh, those are that's a DC reflex to see if how much yeah. damage to take from that. Yeah, they got pretty nice. good reflex, pretty good for We haven't tried their will. Yeah. Oh, one, failure and, and a success. So one takes 12 damage, the other one takes six. They basically throw an electrical bomb, then just bounces electricity between the two. It's been a while since I saw electric arc being used. Uh, it's a staple. Uh, I remember it's in there. Right. right. Yeah, I think that's my turn. Beat just to have electric arc myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's everything? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, badass foes. He does not particularly like being surrounded by demons and. Going to, uh... hmm. Let me try that one. Okay. Ah, yes. So Take that. He's prone. Take that. Sure, and he's basically got this guy, you know, he's got a sword like right through him, keeping him on the ground, trying to just basically saw his way through him with his sword. Uh, so Jeff, you're go. All right, for attack, I'm just gonna take a five step this way, so no attacks of opportunity, and then I go be like superhero dash and lightning dash. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Lightning yep. dash. Uh, so these two demons need a reflex save. You move like the Flash. <laughs> Essentially. He doesn't get one because he's one prone. Like he's... Okay, so, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so one critically, the one that's prone is critically failed, and the other one just failed. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so 15 to the one that failed, and then 30 to the one that's on the ground. Beautiful. If only Desert Wind had lived long enough to use that. Oh, there would not be something. Oh, gonna... <laughs> that what you're going to use if he lived? Yes, that would have that would have been one of the statements. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's... Well, you know what's funny is that you basically, like, Run over this guy while the sword's in him from cross, and it basically like is tearing through his skin as you push the body there, through the sword. Electric, like it's it's awesome. electrical dash. So if, there if is anything really, electricity. Yeah, oh, sorry. there's funny. There's actually a really funny. Uh, what is it called? Isn't it like lightning rod or something like that? Yeah, lightning rod. No, he's you just, not. You oh, that's a metal rod into your foe and call lightning to it. Oh, yeah, the spell where you just call lightning you and the weapon. funny thing is, is I can take this because I'm both air and metal. Wait, well, so, he, 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 so this guy here basically was trying to, like, get up with the sword in him and Krusk is holding him down, so he had to basically use all three because he failed his first two athletic checks. He managed to get up on the third one, but he's... Uh, 
Crust still has a sword in him. So that way says his... parent rat. That way it says uh let's turn there. What yeah, don't don't worry about that. I was trying to copy it into the tax, but when but yeah, lightning rod is basically they take additional damage from lightning at like light electricity damage. And because I do both, like you need to use metal to do the lightning rod. Uh, because my other elemental blast is lightning, he just I could cause you to keep doing extra electrical damage to them. So uh the lich is attacked for twenty. Ouch. Well, he takes fourteen because he's immune to the spirit. Um, and so that's twenty six now. And this that's his turn. Uh Gil. Who's Eilon? I'm updating my health. Oh, actually, it's more like I need to heal. Okay. I'm a master in healing. Let's do this. Try. Get it. Oh. I fell horribly. I'm here pointing that. <laughs> Thank you. And I heal forty five. So the lit shields two forty five, and then my first action. Then I will act together. And I will throw a slashing gust. Hit this one first. Miss horribly. Throw it at the next one on the other side. Miss him horribly. And then the Lich gets to go in for an attack. Oh. Incredibly hits. What's his attack? It's bludgeoning. So <laughs> he apparently drops his weapon. Ah. Uh -huh. Keep that in mind. All right. So he takes 20. And I'll make sure I damage the correct one this time. <laughs> and since it's the end of my turn, I have Mature Beast Companion, which allows my companion to make one action of Strike or Stride without me commanding him. So he is going to attack the wounded one and hit him. For 14. Okay. And there we go. All right. I use a mature companion very often because it's less actions, but it's nice to have. The fire damage, Tony, is on its turn or yours? Uh, so. Anytime it's, if it starts its turn in the area, or the first time it moves into the area, so within okay. 10 feet of me. All right, I'll, I'm, I've added it to all this damage, so. Yeah. Ah, it's burning alive. <laughs> so, it's going after kill. Oh, nice. Here. 12 with 61. Minus 11, gets me down to 50. Uh, and then Gil, Tony, Bernard, and 
off. Need to roll reflexes. She always is doing reflex. Reflex. Oh, oh God! And I'm having a hero point. Uh, Gil Bernard failed. I crit failed. Ah, he took only nine acid damage. Wait, am I no, even in double. range? So it's eighteen. So, sorry, this is. Would this be like a radius it's producing, or is it direct? Sorry, it's a radius. It's an aura. Oh. Main uh, all right, oh. Tony. Tony, you gotta hit some. Uh, I hope so. I've been rolling absolute. <laughs> I dog have been shit. waiting for your absolute critical hit roll. Like, what's going on? It, it's kind of like you're you're me tonight for some odd reason. Fuck! Like, right. Damn it! I, I I rest my case there. Wow! Wow! You cursed. Okay, well, you know, I can hit both of them with a flying flame, so I'm doing that. So this guy up here, too, and that guy. Yeah, I need to reflex saving throws. Let me post it in just a second. Fucking with the uh, targeting system. It's being cringe. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's a crit pass. That's a pass. Seven damage, I guess. Alright. If it's I don't know which one that is. Oh, that's the one that passes is the one that's not in my aura, so it doesn't even take a weakness. So sad. Okay. That's Hoff. my whole turn. Hoff. Your turn. Okay, well I'm just gonna keep trying to stab this one that's right in front of me. Because you know it's dying. Wow, the, the damage has been spread in this whole combat to everybody. There you go. 18. Yeah, I'm just tottering on the edge. I've taken like next to no damage. <laughs> okay. Still standing? No. I'm just getting rid of that. I mean, uh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Boom. You finished him. Finished him. I'm just going to take a healing potion for today. Alright. Okay, so this one's going to go. This one... Moving. Spoke too soon, Bernard. Well, I missed its second attack, so. Oh, he's, I'm being attacked. He only hit you once. He hit me. I finally took in some damage. Uh, it is your turn, though. All right. Well, I recharge my spell strike. Hello, dude in front of me. I'm not caring about my safety currently. I'm just going to chug a bomb. I'm, I'm just bomb or bomb. Well, oh, just... miss. I was trying to do. I was trying to do a spell strike, but it didn't. It was. I, yeah, it was an AC saying, so it missed. But I do take. We all take both him and he take like two splash damage. Oh, it's fair than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What else are you doing? Uh, that would be my full turn because I spend oh, an action recharging okay. the spell strike and then using it. All right. So let's see what Crust can do here. Just stabbing this poor dude to death. Wait, he's got his sword still in him. 
Uh, so. No, it doesn't say it's prone anymore. This is interesting. Oh. Okay. Wow. So the swords in him and uh Cross basically like uses all his strength to just basically like pull his sword upwards, cutting it in half. Like a a, dead now. a reverse Harikiri he basically goes Argh! and shouts and And then it disappears in the dust. Yeah. So that guy's fucked. Uh that's his whole turn. Uh actually Jeff, you admire that kill because you're pretty close to it. Okay. Uh Jeff, your go. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention since my uh gate closed last turn, my uh all my armor fell off. Actually, the armor impulses they have a duration of ten minutes. They're not no, a stance. They do. So they, they they persist. Uh, okay. Osman had his armor on basically 24-7. He basically never took it off. Oh. Sounds That's why good. I never cast it in combat. I just always had it on. That works. Alright, well, well, that one died. Uh, Horribly. <laughs> well, I go move down. Be One action. I go... Second action, bring up my gate. It allows me to do at least one free elemental blast, and this time I remember to attune my attunerator, so it actually is going to be giving me the bonus. I go blast some metal at this dude in front of me for okay. yeah. And last action, what would I like to be injured? Uh. Yeah, I go hit him again, or attempt to hit him again. Yeah. No. Oh, quickly missed. That's fine. Okay. Yo, your go. Okay, so everybody dies. Wait a minute, that's just me. <laughs> You're already dead. Remember? Yeah, that's true. It's one of the reasons I picked this one because I was already dead. We already knew it. Oh, so, dead. I'm going to move my idol on. And why I'm doing that as act together, I will boost it for this time. Hey, that's uh, someone else's line in this party. I remember. I was I know, that. right? That's like uh, the number one thing that someone just do. Come on, Another Tony. Another slight to add on to my list for when I, hey, when hey. I get you. Tony, just say it once for feeling. Boost Eidolon. Come on. So anyway, first action, I uh, act together, boost Eidolon strike. There you go. <laughs> cool. Okay, so 33 for 16. And I'll use my last action to command my ninja. Come over here. I need to have enough to do one attack. Hits. For 22. Yeah. And this demon is like surrounded everywhere. Yep. Okay. Uh, Tony, Poor come dude. on. You, you got to kill at least one of these dudes. Come on. At least one of them. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's just most of my stuff is uh, reflex saves, and when they're good at that, it hurts me. Also, he's in range, so he should, you know, with his turn, he's going to start taking the... Uh, the yeah, yeah, he'll so take the fire. Yeah. Where's my button? Uh, here it is. Uh, get spooked. Paralyze. Paralyze. Okay. He's going to put you in debt. <laughs> And then I do this so that I may attach reach. And then I'm going to thwack him. 
You know, yeah, I hit. Know, you hit. Surprised. You hit. <laughs> of like uh, debt collector overcharging, price gouging. <laughs> I would, yeah, actually, Tony would probably be able to threaten a demon by saying you're going to be in my debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or de- <laughs> no devil. You know, it actually uh, works. That's my turn. I hit him. Hoff. Okay. Hoff, go forth and sneak attack. Yeah. Poor double blade. I'm going to walk up to him and try to cut his Achilles tendons. There you go. Oh yeah, question. How crazy is Hoff? A little crazy. Wait, what? Sneak attack, attack damage didn't apply there for some reason. I'm fairly well, certain you'd be sneak attack. It's not. It's not. Um. It's not off guard to Hoff specifically. Yeah. I can oh, all right. Sorry. And I uh, let the uh, enemy try to do fifty shots. So. What Lowly do do demon it? goes. It's literally like the stereotypical demon with the pitchfork. Yeah. Well, actually, do you think uh, the demon yeah, thinks Hoff missed? Oh, no, not Tut Sorry. Uh, watch this, the demon. Not tut, tut. Watch this. You just have Hoff, that. he yeah. missed. Watch real hero oh, vanquish this demon. That's as Hey, uh, hey, 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 he disappears. And that is the wrap for the battle. All right, uh, the armor falls off of Jeff now. Yeah. I So, you might as well, all of you, rest, give yourself a full rest because of your travel time. I'm one health point off from the full health. Yeah. Honk, shoo, me, 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 as they say. Yeah. I trust so, um, uh, Crest uh, basically comes back with you. So, even if I restore my spells, I instantly lose the spell slot. So, uh, just for sake of argument, we'll say you go back to the city with Crest to rest up while he's going to tell you what's happened and everything. Uh, I think that's a good point to end tonight, because, like I said, I'm not 100%. But uh, at least wanted that to get in s- s- uh, some of the game tonight, right? I want some mouse to search for. Well, I know, uh, actually, a couple people yeah, that have this. Once you feel better, we'll talk about the whole cult development <laughs> section of the city. Yeah. You'll be in charge, and then it goes to shit. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? And then you find out that, that Chips has his own cult and he's alive ish. Yeah, the fucker faked his own death to dodge Texas. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he has a cult with all the Eldritch gods and Pathfinder. Um, I I mean, he doesn't old... even want to be a part of the cult. Bro thinks he's, he's old bad. man Henderson. Actually, uh. You know, plot twist chips is really an elfish god. Right, he's like that be... where he's just stupid and forgets that he's a god. And that's why he keeps going. Oh yes. The, the two gods of the part the two gods of this party, a goblin barbarian and a uh, chips. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of having um rubber show up and the pirate planar campaign. <laughs> he's there. He's yeah, you told me. I can't remember what the plane. Hey, I was is. thinking that, like, because there's a plane where it's just like the in between, and he's just gonna be just floating around in there, <laughs> just floating in the ethereal plane. It's like essentially, and just ask him like, as you guys pass him, it's all here. It's like, do you want to so As he like just floats away. <laughs> all right, so uh, Wait, what? Tony, what uh, Tony, what do you think of being Lord? I mean, 
There's going to be some changes around here. You laid the law. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we got to figure out where we're going to set the cult and city and everything. Mm. See how much we got we got going to that in the past eight months. And then, uh, so, uh, uh, Bernard, what do you think of uh, Jim becoming one with darkness now? I mean, your character wouldn't know that. But. Hilarious. <laughs> I, hilarious. I still imagine the race occasionally goes like, you want a deal, and then just kills the person before they even answer, answer the question. <laughs> Yeah, I like how big Red yeah, shows he, up he takes in, uh, the guise of a duck and asks, "Got any grapes?" Big Red shows up and he's like, all of a sudden, you know, Tony's a lord. There's some lich hunting everybody. You know, how long have I been there's away? Guy that thinks he's a Power Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you did run over uh, the one dude, though. I think my favorite kill though, was two of them. <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite kill tonight was Crusts, though. That was epic. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that was fun. That I, was fun. I, like, I stunned him with, like, a boomerang. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, the boomerang stun was funny. Mm. Well, like, that yeah, I just chucked the boomerang into oh, the world. I just had a great idea. And, like, finished. What? Awakened, awakened animal uh, rogue, and it's a oh. duck. It's, like, literally a duck. Literally, lots oh. of people ask... Got any grapes? And while they're distracted, he stabs them. <laughs> I love, it. I love it. Got any grapes is just the <laughs> line he says whenever Marvel. he uses creative diversion. Maybe that's the only like. Wait, does it look like Donald Duck? <laughs> hey, we had a session where Mister <laughs> Mister Reese's character didn't die. That's yeah. always a victory. Hey, he got like he four crits. He didn't die last night. He almost died last night, but he didn't die last night. Well, last night is low level, low level gaming, and that's that's always deadly. Yeah, but you're fighting yeah, things yeah, that were your level. Tonight, <laughs> we also had some awful dog shit. Also, my mag. Oh yeah, the rolls are awful last night. My alchemist. My my alchemist mag is actually somewhat working. Yeah. Well, you had uh, all of you had bad rolls against the wraith. Otherwise, I could have gone a different way last session. Yeah. Like the damage rolls too. Yeah, it was. uh, I could have gone another way. I'm still waiting for someone to make an alchemist that just throws healing bombs. (laughs) Oh yeah, that would be. I have ideas for. I have idea for that, but probably not. (laughs) The only thing is, is I have an idea for my. You have to make sure, like, you get it where you can control the splash radius, otherwise you'll be healing all the enemies. <laughs> well, if you become bomber, what, what and gun sling- specifically, you can't control the fast splash damage, then. Yeah. What gunslinger works well with a spoon gun? Because I have an idea for a goblin with a spoon gun. Hey, right, I, I thought... I a uh, with a spoon gun. It was fun. I thought there was, uh, like, a card... Mod system for Foundry there is, and I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, there is one where it actually like you get an actual like, card hand and everything, like it does it properly. Mm. I can't well, I was looking at simulate oh, simulate card. cards, like, but it, yeah. it's only for like uh, specific games that use card types. It's not for an actual card game. Yeah, because I need. Yeah, what was called? I need a discard pile. I need a be- ability to draw or search decks, that kind of stuff for my yeah. card game if I want to implement it. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Fun thing involving cards. My character in uh, Ryan's campaign is a harrower. So I just pull cards and get random stuff. Mm. Pick a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. Is this your draw card, he card. says, and then he stabs you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, I I hit them with a cartoon hammer. <laughs> then he bonks you with a cartoon hammer. Here's the bonker. Yes. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, we'll see all of you next week again there and see what Crust has been up to. And uh, by then, I shall would feel a lot better. Uh, but having a flu yep. sucks Bye. ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See all of you. Yeah. Later, yeah. Uh,
きます。